Hello you beautiful waist warriors. Sorry, not looking at you, looking at you now. Hi, how are you doing? I'm back with another instalment of what we've been discussing on the Zero Waste Heroes Facebook group. You can find it at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Zero Waste Week Heroes. I always have to stop and say it is, it's Zero Waste Week Heroes where you'll find over 3,000 of us from across the world sharing tips and ideas, sharing successes, having little rants and um, generally having a good old time talking rubbish. And there have been some really good discussions taking place again this week and the little video I did with a synopsis of last week's was really quite popular and um, we had people sign up because they'd seen the video so I thought I'd give it another go. So what's been happening this week? Well, Michelle was asking about alternatives for wrapping paper. And I think there's a vague statistic that I think it's at Christmas time in the UK, we use enough wrapping paper to cover the entire island of Guernsey. That's a lot of paper. So she was asking for ideas and um, various suggestions were made from Furushiki. Bet you haven't heard of that one to um, you know making the present part of the wrapping so why not use a scarf or a tea towel or put things in a nice tin that you find in a charity shop or something loads of ideas um, some people said you know don't, don't bother I've actually been given stuff in just a carrier bag from the shop and in all honesty what do we all want we all want what's inside we want the present so um, now think about it next time you need to wrap something up. Think about what's going to happen to that paper afterwards. I know you're going to recycle it, but will the recipient recycle it? Possibly not. So uh, make it a no-brainer for them. Great question, Michelle. Candice shared a link to her own blog where she had answered a question about what do you do with the stuff that you've got hanging around that you no longer want, but you'd got that item, all those things, long before you understood about your zero waste journey and I've been in this situation myself I'm still in it actually I've got a garage full of stuff well no I haven't my husband has Mr Hoarder um, and quite frankly it's going to end up in the bin at some point because it's beyond use um, it's beyond one man's trash is another man's treasure, you know, one man's trash is another man's trash in my case. But Candice answers this really comprehensively on her blog and it's well worth a read. So hop on to the Facebook group and find the link to that post. Thanks, Candice. Um, Betty shared a link to plasticfreechallenge.org. It's been running since April, but it's continuing on to, I think it's the 24th of July, the idea behind that is that you give up single-use plastics, which is brilliant. Uh, when we did our own challenge and we only wanted to accumulate one bin of waste for the entire year, what was in the bin? One-use plastic. So a lot of it was food wrapping and um, yeah, it was wrapping, uh, wrapping, wrapping paper, wrapping plastic, wrapping blah, blah, blah. So once you use plastic, so, so go over to plasticfreechallenge.org. It's not too late to sign up. You've still got a couple of months to take part. See how you can do. Could you give up single-use plastics? Find out. Thanks for sharing that, Betty. Um, I found out this week that it was National Barbecue Week. So I asked our friendly community how to have a zero-waste barbecue. Lots of ideas there from using metal skewers rather than disposable ones to getting out the real crockery rather than using paper plates. Um, obviously recycling your bottles afterwards. We had an interesting discussion, quite heated, we do get some heated discussions, where people were saying uh, it's a no-brainer, you have to be vegan because otherwise you're undoing all the good work that you're doing by reducing your waste. So really insightful conversation going on there as I say a little bit heated from time to time but we managed to keep you know toys in prams um, go along and have a read what, where do you fall on this do you think that veganism is the number one thing that you have to do otherwise you're wasting your time um, do you live and let live that's that's my motto live and let live that kind of 
a bit weird with the old vegan thing. Um, or do you think, no, fine, just eat your meat, enjoy it, uh, but buy it from a local butcher in your own container, support local if you want to, um, try and get waste-free um, items. What do you think? I'd really love to hear. Join in the conversation on that one. Vicky found a bag of coconut flour in her kitchen cupboard and was wondering what to do with it. Coconut flour is something I've never used, um, never bought, never tasted it I don't think. So people went along and helped Vicky with suggestions. Um, I think it's a little bit different to cook with than wheat flour so you need to take that into account and people were sharing all sorts of ideas and tips for her. So if you've got a bag of coconut flour in your cupboard either come along and tell Vicky what to do with it or if you're stuck for ideas come and have a read of ours. Lindsay shared uh, a new Facebook group that she set up. She lives in Perth over in Australia and she set up a Facebook group specifically for people who live in Perth who are living the zero waste lifestyle and perhaps want to find um, packaging free products or bulk buy stores or that kind of thing. So if you're in Perth and you've got an interest in the zero waste lifestyle and you want to know where to go to get all your goodies, go and check out Lindsay's group. And the final person I'm going to mention is Samantha. I think Samantha is probably new to the group because she was asking, where do I start? And that is a fantastic question. So on the group, we've got people who have been reducing waste for years, you know, our seasoned pros, um, They've been joining in with Zero Waste Week perhaps for the past nine years. And we've got complete beginners. That's why I love the group. It's so diverse. We're talking about all sorts of things all the time, you know, from way down the line to, okay, let's start with this. So to Samantha, I know that for my own journey, I started by refusing plastic carrier bags. Now, it's a bit different now because we've actually got a bag tax where we are in England. So you have to take your own bags otherwise you have to pay for them which many of us don't like to do so that's a really easy thing to start with just get yourself a few reusable bags the difficult thing to do is to remember to take them with you when you go shopping and actually have them with you when you get to the checkout so it took me about a month hang on a minute my computer wants to restart no you can't uh, because I'm talking to my friends so Samantha bags yeah start with that one start with get yourself a few reusable bags I'm going to do a plug for on your bags again here they're some of my favorites um, remember to take them with you and then when you've got that in place then the next thing we did is we looked at okay what can I recycle at the curbside I've got to take the bin to the end of the drive every week anyway so I may as well separate my recyclables and take the recyclables down and the bin down because the bin will be lighter so um, we had a good look at our council website to find out what we could recycle at the curbside and started doing that once we got that in place so you know we're talking two months get everything don't rush things this is this is a, a real journey and then by the third month we thought okay what's still in our bin that we're throwing away and what can we recycle of that locally now it's a bit counterproductive to make a special journey to a bring bank but look at your diary if you're driving past a bring bank once a week to take the kids to their swimming lesson or in the mornings to go to work or you know once a fortnight when you visit your mother-in-law then put the stuff in the car with you when you're going and take it to the local bring bank i was really excited to find that that's what happens you get really excited about finding recycling banks i was really excited to find that we can recycle tetra pack cartons the the ones that you get juice or tomatoes or even wine in um, about three miles from the house we could also do plastic bottles which I can't do from my curbside but I can do locally and there was something else as well oh I know they've got uh, textiles recycling so that cut down I wasn't throwing clothes in the bin don't worry but that cut down things that were otherwise going into our landfill stream so advice for Samantha is just start really small okay imagine you it's, it's like any other habit imagine you wake up one day and think i'm going to run the london marathon well you know what you're not going to get out of bed and run 26 miles you're going to do five and you're going to practice that your muscles are going to really hurt but eventually you'll get used to it and then you'll progress 
that's what the zero waste journey is like it's a marathon okay so start small because if you do that and you succeed then you will feel that you can add something else and continue that journey if you try to do everything and you fail talking from experience here then you know that's it it's over it's another new year's resolution broken so start really small focus on what you can do don't beat yourself up about what you can't do and um as well by being on the facebook group you know people report that having that support having people who are cheering them on is really valuable again just like any other goal in life you want to lose weight you want your friends giving you a high five when you've stepped away from the digestive biscuit packet you know so this is exactly the same so start small um there were other things that came up for samantha one other thing to do is check out the zero waste bloggers network um, that will give you details of people who are blogging all over the world about their zero waste experiences so that's really helpful i'm really aware that you know i live in england and i've got my little lifestyle but if you're living in Spain, then what I'm talking about might be irrelevant to you or not particularly helpful. So by going to the Zero Waste Bloggers Network, you should find people in your country who are already blogging. And if they're not, maybe it's your go. So that's a little roundup of what we've been discussing this week on the Facebook group. Do come and join us. That URL again, facebook.com, cut groups, cut Zero Waste Week Heroes. Okay, good. I'll be back with you again next week and um, happy zero wasting. <laughs>